at making history, Kamala Harris making history as the first woman president of the United States. A big deal for HBCUs across the country. She's a graduate from that. Let's bring in our Reuben Jones, who's at Johnson C. Smith University, which, by the way, our Claudine Chalfont was there election night. Uh, boy, important for uh, the African American community, Reuben, but also young voters. They came out in droves and huge numbers this election. They really did. And this, you know, there was a lot of attention on the numbers coming in, and it was a bit overwhelming to watch all that. But it is so important not to forget the significance of Kamala Harris becoming the first woman uh, of color vice president in the United States. And we're on the campus of Johnson C. Smith University because it is a HBCU, which Kamala Harris graduated from, a proud alum of Howard University. She talks about it a lot. So for more on that, we're joined by the president of JCSU, uh, Clarence Armbruster. Uh, sir, let me get first your, your reaction to, to this uh, news today. Well, it's a great day. It's a great day for America. Uh, I'm particularly pleased with the uh, fact that democracy has won uh, and that there's going to be a peaceful transfer of power. So I'm really excited about that. But as you noted, uh, uh, the idea of an, uh, a woman of color becoming uh, a vice president here in the United States is just wonderful. And the fact that she went to an HBCU makes it even more special. Yeah, she graduated from Howard University. She gave the commencement address in 2017. I'm going to show you a tweet from Howard in a second congratulating her. Uh, but what does this mean for HBCUs, uh, but also uh, young people of color who are looking up to Kamala Harris? Well, much like the election of uh, President Obama, young people today can look up and say, you know what? That could be me one day. I could be president. I could be vice president. Uh, it's a wonderful affirmation of the hard work that so many of us have put in for over so many years. And I'm just so happy that uh, in the manifestation of Kamala Harris that she has become the vice president. Um, it is a wonderful tribute also to HBCUs that our institutions provide as quality graduates uh, throughout the year. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful affirmation of all the hard work that we put in from day to day. Colleges, universities in general right now are facing challenges because of COVID-19. HBCUs have faced challenges for a number of years, funding a lot. Um, what, what is needed? What's your message to, to the vice, uh, uh, potential vice president right now in, in terms of what is needed at HBCUs? Well, it's interesting. Uh, the one opportunity I had to meet uh, the pr vice president-elect was on a what we call a fly-in day to Washington, D.C. Uh, we were called by uh, Congresswoman Alma Adams, who is the um, founder of the uh, HBCU caucus, which is a, uh, a bicameral and bipartisan uh, uh, part, uh, lobbying effort on behalf of HBCUs. And I had an opportunity to sit next to Kamala Harris, and she really understands what we need. What we need are funding. We need our students to be not burdened with debt, uh, we need funding for infrastructure uh, because many HBCUs don't have the depth of resources. We certainly have uh, resources, but not the depth of resources to withstand things like a COVID-19. Real quick, do you expect any sort of celebration or anything like that on campus? I know your, your students are well, working students remote. Are, but our students aren't here, but I'm sure uh, many of them are, very, are celebrating uh, in their homes and with their friends around the country. Well, Mr. President, we appreciate it, and we'll uh, we'll stay tuned. On a lot, I know a lot happens here at this university, so thank you so much. Thank we you appreciate so much, it. Uh, Tim, I did talk to Alma Adams.